points. Rakovic with 21. Belgrade's second leading scorer is Marko Stevanovic with 22. Throw the numbers out of the window. Who's got the heart to take this one? The world number one takes the first shot. And that was deeper than a diver goes. Sojic with a deep swish to get Uba on the board first. The drive and the lay. That's finished off at the rim. Kakarevich. So an all-Serbian final here. And while they both represent the same country, they aren't, they aren't exactly brates in a competition like this. It's 40,000 on the line. Back to back like a 90s photo. Goal Strahinja Stojicic. He's responsible for Ooh's first four points. 30 seconds into this contest. So Dr. Strange elevating his game to another metaverse here early. Popovich. Can he match the firepower? He passes it up the first good look that he might have had. That's a, that's a tough look from the corner. Comes back to him, and he finishes with the crib. So the second point on the board for Belgrade, and the whistle. Vlad Gizdereno and Marek Maraszewski officiating this one. An offensive foul is called as that possession is wasted by Ooh. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice in your ear, at 3x3 The Voice. Happy to be back in Prague for the ninth straight year. The Serbians have dominated this Masters. It used to be Novi Sad, but now it looks like Ooh. I was mentioning that 32-0 run that that Novi Sad had in 2018. Ooh, trying to threaten that with an incredible season themselves. We got 13 stops on the tour this year, so it's still very early. But three wins and three masters is, is damn impressive, if I say so myself. We're all nodded at four apiece. Nemanja Barac. He's the muscle on this Serbian team. He puts that one up and shows the soft touch to give Uba a one point advantage for the moment. Here come Belgrade, though. Swung to the left side. Stefanovic, one legged release. High rebound goes to Dr. Strange. The beast, the ball fake. He's hacked on his way up. He's going to shoot one. Third foul on Belgrade, but again a shooting foul. Oh, look at the ball fake. Bozje. Almost two minutes in. Brokovic almost in step with uh, the Maestro, in terms of the leading scorer on this team. Who come in with 22s made. Belgrade with 18, shooting 40% again. They're 18 of 45. And that might be the, the recipe for success for them. Shoot it at a high clip, that's always going to help you out. There's the maestro emptying the clip. He's got the stream music playing. It's 8-2, now 5 after Belgrade respond with the score on the inside. Stojicic's pass nearly stolen, but it's poked away. That'll leave 8 on the shot clock for Oob. Take another look at the maestro. And then the response on the interior. Scored by Torbica. And Emanya lost a hand on it. Even even Barach's handshakes hurt. Saw him give uh, official Monica a pat on the on the arm. 
It's like, ow, dude, what'd I do? <laughs> oh, he's tricky. But he crossed himself out. What? <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to work that way. Oh, up top. That's some teamwork making the dream work. But Stefanovic is a little bit hobbled. He's not moving so great. So he definitely wasn't faking. He's still not moving. Moving great. We'll see how uh, he's able to recover. Ooh, recovers the rebound. And Strahinia, who started off slow, now he's heating up. He's got the jumper falling like autumn. In a three-point game. Take another look. Yep. How did <laughs> he just tosses it up without discretion, and it leads to that. They didn't practice that this week, I can guarantee. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than to be good. That play is going to keep Belgrade within striking distance. Oob is a team on a mission. You heard Dan Maestorovic say that they want to go for the three-peat. And if they win this one, this next interview, you can guess what he's going to say. We want to go for a four-peat. They want to win everything that they can. On the Pro Tour, never mind. Of course, they want to win the challengers that they play in as well, but this is the title event. Oh, what a pocket pass. But that pin needle hole leads to an eighth score for Belgrade. They only trail this thing by two. So Belgrade have developed a reputation for pulling off shockers. They only trail it by two. Oh, why'd he do that? What a move from Stojicic. Tried to set up the beast for a two-piece, but it's missed. I think that might have been a play where Strainia could have just went up for the score. But they were looking for the two ball. In any case, uh, an empty possession for Ub as Belgrade will take over. Popovich off balance. Stroke was broke. Poked out of bounds. He's contending that, that that's off red, and I think he might win that argument. Oh, no. No, he's not. Now he's saying he wants to challenge. He's having a conversation with Bronkovic. It's not like Bronkovic is going to say, yeah, yeah, bro, you're right. Hit your ball. Okay, but it actually is deemed Belgrade ball, so Popovic does win that uh, argument. Stefanovic will hand it off to Orbitza. He's going to pull up mid-range. No, he dropped it off instead. Stefanovic is going to stick with it. And he gave beat the beast that work. One-point contest. Barash. He takes the package and he delivers. Coach Gacha and Coach Zedero looking on as they see that one splash through from the corner. We're all even at 11 apiece. The maestro, no stream music that time, but the Beast is able to clean up the mess. Popovich, he pulls the trigger. It's a misfire. The Beast now has it clear. No choice but the foul. Stefanovic, he's out of position. Barac using that size on him. Take another look at the step back. Tortopizza fires that one like a torpedo. And then the pocket pass. Would have likely led to an easy layup, but instead a foul is called. That's number seven on Belgrade. That means that Nim Diesel will shoot two. First of two. No, sir. There's Torbito wearing number three. Number four is Kakarevic. That was my bad. Korbica. He's able to score it. A 13-11 game now. It's, ooh, broke that 11-11 tie. Shot clock challenge, though, is issued here. Tight game with 5-17 to play.
Take a look for yourself. You see that clock ticking down. Oh, yeah, I think that. I don't think they got that up in time, actually. So that tour beats the school. If the officials agree with me, they're, they're going to wipe that bucket away. The challenge is lost. So I don't know what I'm talking about. I told you. I'm about I'm about 40 percent on my guesstimations. <laughs> so 13-11. That bucket will uh, will count. So will that one. No argument there as the beast extends Oob's lead to three. Five minutes to play. Stefanovic is pushed. Oob with a fifth foul that was of the shooting variety. Take a la another look uh, at that last feed on the inside to the beast. I've been saying that Oob is just a well-oiled machine. Everybody knows their position. They know where to be. Throws cashed in. Makes it a one possession game. Stranger getting up to get, get, get there. So, Dr. Strange is marvelous on the two handed finish. Ooh, back in front by three. Oh, nice pass. And that is laid in. Kakarevich. 15-13. The Maestro passes deflected. Kakarevich drops it off. And that is finished off with the reverse. Stefanovic is going to keep his team well in pace. Only a one-point game with 4.27 to go. The Beast. He fires a blank that time. Ball is rebounded. And on come Gray. Here in this Serbian clash for $40,000. 30 Gs to our second to our second place finisher. So runners up will still get a nice payday. But it's really, it's more than just the money. Pride is on the line. An opportunity for Belgrade to win their first ever World Tour Masters stop. You think they don't want that? Of course they do. Barak. This is his first of two. Here Belgrade in the penalty. That is an eighth foul on them, so Neymanya needs to fix some mechanics at the free throw line. We break them both. Long ball, count it up. Two-piece combo that puts Uba up 17 to 14. Popovich, oh, tossed it up behind his back without looking. Over his shoulder, I should say. My bad. Oh, my goodness. Dr. Strange showing the range. 19 to 14. Nobody home, and that layup is going to fall. Belgrade down three. The world number one with the rocking hand. He's driving yet again. Plenty of contact. A blocking foul is called. That is number nine. Obviously, Belgrade in the penalty. So, Strain Stojicic could potentially end this at the line. Two toes behind the line right there. All net, all wet. Popovich, who's been a certified bucket for Belgrade the entire tournament. His team has put up a good fight, but they are in jeopardy of seeing themselves come up empty handed. Not empty handed, but come up empty in their effort to get a win here in the final. With Shrayinja Stojicic on the line shooting two. Stojicic is first. Good money. 
Game point for Ooh. The three-peat. They can taste it. One more make and they'll have it. The world number one with one shot to make. Long on it. So they'll have to try again. Popovich driving, spinning, off balance, misses it. The tip is a no-go. Put up, and it's finally put in. Stefanovic with the tip. But here come U. Looking for that game-winning shot. Brokovic to Stoichis. They got their three gold medal winners. With the ball in hand, or they had it in hand. Stefanovic is going to get his team within two. It ain't over with yet. Stoichis. He could shoot the two, he does shoot the two, and the world number one chucks the deuces. Goodbye, thanks for playing, but it's a wrap. Get the director's chair, the three-peat is complete for O. They go three for three here in 2022. They take it here in Prague. Who is gonna stop this Serbian powerhouse? O beat Belgrade, and they are $40,000 richer after winning in Utsunomiya, then in Manila, they come here to prod and do the exact same thing. 22 to 18.